Downed trees, destroyed buildings, and flooded roads are what has been left behind after Hurricane Otis slammed into Mexico's southern Pacific coast early Wednesday morning as a Category 5 storm. The city of Acapulco has been devastated. At least 27 are dead as of Thursday afternoon, and many are asking questions why forecasters didn't see it coming. Daniel Brown with the National Hurricane Center says modeling initially showed the storm appearing to weaken earlier this week, before rapidly strengthening to an extreme more than the usual rate seen in hurricanes. We define rapid strengthening as a, about a 35 mile uh, per hour increase in winds over a 24 hour period. And this one really um, essentially doubled, almost tripled that rate of intensification uh, during that uh, 24 hours before it uh, reached the coast of southern Mexico. More than 1 million people are without power after the storm with 260 kilometer winds toppled power lines. Chris Fogarty with the Canadian Hurricane Center says the area the hurricane hit rarely sees such intense storms. And though rapid intensification can happen, computer models don't have the ability yet to say when they will happen. This is like a you know, worst case scenario for people and sort of a nightmare scenario for forecasters. Global News Chief Meteorologist Anthony Farnell says there are many factors at play as to why Otis turning into a Category 5 was difficult to predict. It may range from the small size of the system to being in an area, the Pacific Ocean, which does not have as much weather data. Even climate change may be a factor, with the storm passing over a pocket of water off Mexico's coast of about 31 degrees Celsius. That is basically fuel for these storms and a troubling sign is uh, we've seen more and more of them rapidly intensifying right up until landfall which is something that uh, we haven't seen as much of in the past. But while the Category 5 storm left many confused, most weather experts agree Otis and storms like it may also help in improving forecasting. We use these as uh, hopefully ways to improve our forecasts and also our messaging. Looking back at Otis and looking for where there's signs in the satellite imagery that we could identify in hindsight that will allow us to maybe predict a rapidly intensifying case. Hurricane Otis is the first Category 5 on record to hit Mexico's Pacific coast. And with its unpredictability, experts say it's a reminder that Mother Nature remains in charge. Sean Preble. Global News.